People in Albania are protesting against their own government, not just over the cost of living crisis, but also because of the way their government are sending their people and their manpower to the UK. In one of the uh, unreported pieces of news, uh, the Albanians are protesting uh, in their country against their uh, incompetent government and it's only not just because of the cost of living crisis but of course also because during this mess the economic mess their manpower <laughs> is leaving albania and coming to the uk now of course with their own interests as individuals these young healthy men it will they'll be better off in the uk of course they'll get more better well and well-paid jobs and they'll get more benefits compared to being in albania having said that there are people protesting their government in Albania mainly because they say, well, imagine if you're a small business owner and three of your staff members leave to go to the UK. You're losing your manpower, you're losing your own talent. And of course, on the other hand, it's increasing the criminal gangs because the smugglers go to Albania to sort it out. Now, they decided to protest and one of the things they did, they actually decided to parade on the streets with a dinghy as a symbol against their own government saying this is exactly what you're doing. And when this video came out yesterday and there was a bit of fake news on social media some people thought this was uh, the albanians in london uh, gloating about the dinghy <laughs> it wasn't actually part of the symbol of this protest was actually um because they had the uk flag on the dinghy was also saying britain is also uh, welcoming our people our manpower who's leaving our country and it's quite fascinating because again the headlines that you see tens of thousands of albanians have been protesting uh, yesterday over the last couple of days and there was a bit of a clash in between the crowd because uh, they went um, in front of uh, the prime minister's office to protest against the cor uh, corruption that the government had and the country has and, and uh, they had a bit of a scuffle with the police as well and uh, but you can see the images it's been absolutely chaotic massive crowds yet absolutely nothing in the mainstream media there's no analysis there's no proper coverage about this so it reminds us of something oh yes the revolution in Iran. Where is the BBC? Where is Sky News? Where are the channels talking about the uprising in Iran? It's the same problem because it's actually, I think it's a good idea to cover these protests in Albania because the more you cover it in the, in the West, in the most um, legacy media, then the more you can actually raise awareness uh, in terms of the crisis here because people can actually finally understand those, you know, on the liberal weird side that, oh, these are economic migrants. These are the people who are leaving uh, their country because of their corrupt governments. So maybe we should encourage Albania as a country to become better. You know, that's what they would say, of course. But the, right now, they genuinely think there is some sort of international conflict in Albania. And they genuinely think these people are pl political refugees. They're not political refugees, they're economic migrants. That's the reality. Oh, dear God. Okay, um, speaking of corruption, let's take a quick break and come back in a bit in half an hour. Tell you guys about the kangaroo court in the UK Parliament, led by Harriet Harman. Subscribe to the channel on MyTC and we are the media. 